So this is a 2020 Honda Civic Type R that's gotten some major modifications. Also won Best Type R Award at the LA show. I apologize. Unfortunately, there was too much background noise, so I had to cut out the actual background sound. But I can definitely tell you at this moment, the acceleration really pushed me back against the seat and made me pucker up. Hello and welcome to Random Things. This is Ty, and I'm here with my buddy Edwin, who's been gracious enough to show me his heavily modified 2020 Honda Civic Type R. Now this Type R here actually won the best Type R at the 2022 Weeks um, Week Weeks Fest. Weeks Week Fest, right? So it's pretty impressive, as you saw in the intro video. The stock Type R is 306 horsepower, but with all the modifications, both to the engine, suspension, and body kit, he's able to put 550 horsepower down on the front wheel. So with that, um, let's talk about your car, Edwin. So let's start with the engine bay modifications. Sure, so I got the uh, Beat Rush front strut bar, a um, bunch of titanium hardware from Chasing J's, uh, radium, radium uh, stir, uh, coolant reservoir, the Mugen, uh, Mugen cap. Uh, I got the uh, blue M&M valve cover. It's actually uh, the NSX blue uh, titanium cover for the spark plugs. Again, from Chasing J's oil cap, the oil dipstick, got the radium uh, oil catch can, PRL uh, turbo inlet. It's a custom titanium pipe right here. And it goes to the uh, PRL intake. Look at the size of that monster. Yeah. And then you got the XDI high pressure pump. Went to the custom fill set up here with the filter right there. And just a bunch of titanium bits. So, I'm not really a car guy. You're the car guy. So, I'm going to need your help to kind of explain to me what modifications made it go from 306 to 550. Well, a lot of it is tuning. Um, that's, that's the big part of it. I mean, you can have all sorts of parts on the car without the proper tune it's not gonna put the part to the ground uh, but some of the bolt-ons I have here it's, uh, I'm, I'm running a HKS intercooler HKS downpipe um, PRL turbo inlet PRL charge pipes um, and a Jay's racing exhaust and engine essentially is bone stock so a lot of these parts are from Japan yeah and like, Japan only so why did you choose that I've always, growing up, always wanted a modified Honda and one of the JDM parts, but back then, obviously, didn't have the money for it. And now that I'm able to, it's just bringing back the childhood memories. Um, I try to go with the a Mugen, a Jace racing theme on the car. So you're going to see a lot of Mugen parts and a lot of Jace racing parts on the car. Um, like the front end here, that's a Jace racing front end. You got the, the lip kit, the canards, the vents. Even the headlights took me like six months to source. Finally found a new set in Japan. Picked it up and then uh, and also the front grille. From so obviously aside from the fact that that makes this car in SoCal more unique, do you see an actual performance difference by sourcing it from Japan versus the stuff made that you can get here? No, I think it's the reason why I went with the JDM. I think it was more of like the JDM bling factor. The rarity of parts. Oh. Okay. So, if I was kind of starting out with a Type R modification, um, what would be the steps in terms of what do you think I should modify first and in what order? I guess it depends on what you're going to be using the car for. So, at first, I thought it was just going to be like a daily driver. So I didn't go too heavy on the, the looks of the car. I just went with the power and the suspension mods. And then I started adding more and more JDM parts on it. And it just slowly 
became a show car and then now it's a full full time show car. I don't track it. I don't I don't drive it much. Just to go out to meets and shows. And that's okay. different for the car now. But, if but you, in the beginning, so it was like I mean for, for the viewers here, should we try to tune it first? So like the intake, the turbo upgrade. You know, just making the car breathe better and a and a proper tune will make this car, you know, jump jump from your stock three oh six to 400, 450 and just minor bolt ons. Well that's that's good to know. Um so in terms of the suspension modifications, yeah, so I have, a, I have a custom um full coil over kit. So it's all adjustable, you can adjust the height, you can adjust the damping on the shock. Um and then running the Swiss springs on it. I know it's kinda hard to see because it's yeah, running it's pretty low. Let me uh, see if I can get a picture of it but it's gonna i apologize if i can't get a good picture maybe one day i'll when this thing's up on the lift i'll <laughs> be able to get you a, a nice picture and then i have a lot of uh Cusco braces underneath the car in the rear bumper uh, just to stiffen up the chassis what about inside the uh inside the uh the car do you have to do any kind of modifications to no it's more for aesthetics so it's got I got the um, Jay's Racing um, the dash bezel, the Mugen steering wheel. This was like a North American release, one of twenty Mugen shift knob, Mugen seats, obviously, and Mugen door sills, some protection. Got the Mugen visors here. You know, I always laugh. I think I, I share with you. You know, my my wife. Obviously, she's seen your car, and she's like, "Why did Edwin paint the hood black?" <laughs> I'm like, "That's a carbon hood. What's wrong with you?" <laughs> so, did you do anything to the brakes? Just the front. We went with the endless uh, big brake kit. One piece caliper. Look at the size of that monster. Yeah. What do you say? That's how big is that? I think it's like three forty, three hundred forty millimeters. That thing is bigger than I think my car. <laughs> my car tire. So what about your fin? So this is a Mugen um, tailgate spoiler. Mugen rear spoiler here. Some more J Chasing J's hardware. Get the rear Megan diffuser kit. Now, I know that. Yeah, um, I added that versus diffuser, this plate right here in the bottom. What's that do? No, more, more downforce. Keep... Okay, so as the wind comes over the back of the. Yeah, it keeps the car more planted. So, with some of these body kits um, and film modifications, do you have to cut the car at all or anything? No, so these were just uh, bolted onto the existing bumper and, and uh, the spoiler location. They use the same uh, mounting points. No drilling or cutting is required. And so, the body kits, um, which piece did you put on first? So, originally I had the full Mugen kit uh, with the front lip. This is not the Mugen kit anymore. I changed it out. But the side skirts, the mirror caps. Um, and then the roof spoiler and the rear spoiler and the rear piece. So this piece is nice. It makes that. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a company uh, named Cassell. Um, I didn't like the way that it came from factory, where I had a cutout here, and this was just empty, and it was just a straight edge. And it, it didn't finish the flare how I wanted, so. That definitely like, gives it a little bit more complete look. Right. No full circle. All right, well, I'm thinking we need to take this for a ride. <laughs> 
Let's do it. All right. You tell it how much how big this gas tank is and you tell it how much is in the tank it'll tell you how much gas and how much uh ethanol you need so what app is that it's uh it's called ecal so it helps you figure out your blend yeah because obviously because you have to pump e85 yeah or yes yeah, to get it to e50 mixture so i'll need to add six gallons of ethanol and five gallons of gas all right so, your son, what's his favorite part about this car? I think just going very fast in a short period of time, it's that, <laughs> it's that rush. He likes he that acceleration? That acceleration, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, so real quick on the tuning, how do you get this thing tuned? So, my buddy that works on my car, that installs all my parts, uh, he's friends with a guy out of state in North Carolina that does uh, tuning specifically for uh, Civic Type R's of this generation, the 10th gen. So what he does uh, on California here, he my friend will plug everything up, the computers, uh, after installing all the parts, and then he'll do it remotely from North Carolina. Um, if you guys want to visit his website, it's uh, www.fk8. TD.com. Um, he does actually really good work. He's doing a bunch of cars out in SoCal. So check him out. Cool. All right. With that, hey, I really appreciate you taking the time to show me your car. That was a really fun, fun ride. I think I puckered up a couple of times <laughs> on the freeway, but uh, it was definitely a blast. Thanks again. Anytime.